ericmothersmother.com. Let's take a look at the RSI by way of looking at it from the Fibonacci numbers. And we're going to be using, of course, the 0 0.618 Fibonacci number. And so let's go. So we're going to play with a little bit here. And we're going to begin with 38.2 times 1.618. What do you get? You get 61.8. Pretty cool. Let's take a look at another 61.8 times 0 0.618 equals 38.2. So another way of playing with these numbers, 61.8 divide by 2, you get 30.9. You hear me talking about this number a lot. Now, interestingly enough, if you take 100 minus 30.9, what do you get? You get the other number that I talked about a lot the 69.1 threshold very powerful levels to understand as far as the RSI is concerned all right let's do a little bit more let's do 69.1 minus 30.9 what do you get 38.2 All right, let's do another. You take 50 times 1.382. What do you get? You get 69.1. Bang! Let's do one more. You take 50 times 0 0.618. And you end up with what? 30.9. Bang, bang. And there you have it. A quick look at the RSI based on Fibonacci numbers. Eric Moore with Mother.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E R C S. <laughs> we are.